right now. You can style them really cool. Hey, what up everybody? Welcome to this beautiful neighborhood. I'm going through the great and today I'm going to show you why you should get well I'm gonna tell you why you should get dreadlocks and why it's important to get them Okay, so first and foremost, let's pretend that it's not even cold out here and your boy is rocking some nice dreadlocks All right, so I actually have a high top set of uh, I kind of just maintain my hair whenever I want but there's a high top fade under there, I just haven't got it shaved in a while. So, that's why I'm looking like this. But without further ado, let's jump straight into why you should get dreadlocks. Reason number one is because you don't have to cut your hair whatsoever. You can just always grow it out. If you plan on growing your hair out, say like you wanted to grow your hair out for a long time, and say you're African American, or maybe even white. White people can get dreadlocks too, I know, it's crazy. But if you want to do this, just do it. Don't cut your hair no more. Nike. Just do it. Also, if you're part of the team, comment down great, fam, if you're part of the team. But moving on to reason number two, you've always wanted dreadlocks. If you've always wanted dreadlocks, just like me, I always wanted dreadlocks ever since I was a kid. So I decided to get the dreadlocks. First off, let's just appreciate how awesome life is real quick. Okay, so the sun has finally come up and I can't sit here and act like it's still not cold out here. It is freezing, actually. My nose is running. Kids are walking to school. We gotta check out the sun. But it is actually very cool outside, despite the chilliness. But that leads me on to reason number three why you should get dreadlocks. They just look cool. I mean, honestly, just with how my hair looks right now, I'm cool with that. A lot of people may not like dreadlocks just because of how they look, but there are certain few out there that like the way they look, and those are the people with dreadlocks. And even if your dreadlocks don't look the best, they may look the best to you. But it all does come down to personal opinion, especially with yourself. If you think that your dreads aren't gonna look good, don't get dreadlocks. Or if you think they don't look good, maybe you shouldn't get them. But if you do like them, get them and reason number four I'm about to tell you why I'm walking down this because I need to get to some more is you can style them very nice now I do have mainly probably three hairstyles that I wear a lot which I'll wear my hair down I'll pull it up into a bun and then I'll pull it back so if I do any other hairstyle it's because like I'm trying something new or something like that so literally standing directly from the Sun it's super warm right here but yeah this can lead me on to reason number five all right so the fifth reason why you should get dreadlocks is because they are trending right now dreadlocks aren't gonna make you popular but the thing is, is a lot of people are getting dreadlocks who are very popular like look at all these upcoming rappers big people they have dreadlocks and that's definitely not the reason for it but I do believe that your hairstyle uh, can set a trend can go with the trend dreadlocks are very trendy oh there's a bunch of kids coming trying to flee the scene at least to where I'm in the freedom or in the clear all right I'm in the clear but like I said don't get dreadlocks just because it's in the trend don't get dreadlocks thinking it's gonna make you popular or it's gonna change your social status whatsoever which it could but don't go into dreadlocks thinking that it is now they are very trendy I know a lot of people who are trending right now have them but that isn't any reason to go into dreadlocks so I don't think that is a fifth reason but it is a reason why people get dreadlocks they do think it's gonna like help them out with like stuff I guess I don't know but uh yeah that's cool um Meanwhile, at the future Eamon residence. Wow. Woo! Mm -hmm. What's going on? How do you guys like our humble abode? <laughs> I don't really know if I say that right, or I don't, I don't even know how to spell all that. Do you? Abode? Humble abode. Humble? Is, is it three words or is it two words? Humble. Humble? Abode? Like four, two words. So abode is one word? Yep. What does it mean? Like abide. I think. <laughs> so, updates on the Eamon Crib 2.0. Mirror right there. This is the table that I resurfaced. Keep in mind that the, the seat covers, I mean the seat, the chair, what are they called? The seat butts. The seat butts of the chair are gonna be the same color. Um, and also this is gonna be the same color. These are gonna be silver. And one thing I do need is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. Ah, uh, this huge picture. Look at it compared to my hand, it's really big. <laughs> But yeah, this is a little breakdown of what the dining area is looking like right now. Oh yeah, and then we got this right here. Shout out to Mama Sherry for we walk by faith, not by sight. But this is the future resident. We're just still working on it. And it's pretty decent. We have a lot of goals, what we want to achieve inside here. Table is complete almost. Well, table is complete. Just need to do the chairs and the buffet. Yo, this is definitely pretty funny. I got the mic set up right here. Um, swag. I feel like a WWE announcer. The reason I have this set up is because I'm actually trying to set up pretty much Jerry Rig. Um, this gun's locked set up. I'm about to shoot. But Chandler came over to the office and picked up a 50 millimeter lens and I got a 
package that went to the apartment and I already know what it is. What I told you guys in yesterday's video that I'm getting new equipment today and I'm also getting new equipment tomorrow as well. But I'll show you guys what I'm getting. If the audio sounds really weird, it's because the mic's way over here. So right here we got the Anchor USB hub and this is gonna come in super handy. And the prize possession is the MX Master. Sheesh, that's clean, ain't it? That's clean. So like I said, this is the MX Master. I would do an unboxing, but I'm actually really busy right now and I'm about to shoot a guns locked video. Here's a close up on the Anchor. Yeah, I'll show you guys after I unbox all these. It's gonna be really cool because I've been waiting for this for a really long time. But like I said, I'm gonna get my WWE announcer on. <laughs> this is so funny. If you guys watched yesterday's Gunzog video, then you've seen that it did turn out good, but it may look weird behind the scenes and everything. If you haven't watched the video, go check it out. All right, guys, I'm just hoping you go far right now, but I have this Anchor right here. I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing, even though I said I wasn't going to. Let's do it real quick. All right, so here we go. We got this Anchor. Boom. So if you guys have never heard of Anchor, it's pretty much America's leading USB charging brand. Not like I read it off of anything. Dang, am I a tech YouTuber? Check out this hair tie. This is a good hair tie, by the way. As you guys know, I'm not wearing it. So, dang, am I gonna be right back? Actually, yep, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab some scissors. All right, guys, so I got the GDG colored uh, scissors right here. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. I feel like unbox therapy. Here we go. And whoa, this thing is weighty, that's for sure. See, it comes in this cool package, man. All right, cool. Boom. I feel like a Lou. All right, so it comes with this nice little Velcro thing uh, that you can stick it on the, uh, wherever you need it. Ooh, this is weighty, man. The last one I had was trash and it broke. So, Comes in this cool little tank. Sheesh. Oh, yay. The last one I had was like $5 or like something like that. This one was like under, little under 20, but this thing is going to do me well. Trust me. I'll plug it in later. But the prized possession, y'all. Here you go. I believe this opens. Let me do it right. I believe this opens like this. Oh, gosh. No way. They did not use magnets on this bad boy. They did. Oh gosh, this is gonna be nice. All right, so right here you got like whatever and it shows you how to connect it Bluetooth. And let me try to get this out of here. All right, so there's stuff to cut on this one too. Remember, safety first before you use scissors, okay? Don't wanna get cut, it sucks. I went with the white MX Master because the colorway in my office is white. Oh, so I'm assuming this is the charger. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And the mouse itself is right. Chia. Watch out, box. Pretty cool box though. Oh, okay, I see what they did there, little magnet move. Oh, dang, this is crispy. Look how nice that looks, yo. Oh my goodness, this thing is fitting in the palm. Holy crap, that's nice. This is nice. Where do you charge it? Where's the charging thing? It's probably at the bottom, huh? Oh no, it goes right there. Sweet, little charger's right there in the front. And you got this right here. Oh man, I'm excited. Oh yeah, two Logitech. My actual, my, uh, my, whatever this is called is actually Logitech too. And this is Logitech and this has some weight to it. And this thing is, ooh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Sweet, that wraps up the unboxing. With the unboxing being done, I'm super stoked on all these things that I got, well, not all these things, but I'm getting some more stuff tomorrow too, so don't even sweat it. I'm excited to edit with this mouse, see what it can do for me. Oh yeah. I think the one, two, and three, wait, I don't know. I need to figure out how to set this up. It's cool how I'm just chilling out here, right? I know. I set up the green screen, by the way, for a guys like video. All right. Bye. Yo, honestly, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you guys haven't already. Comment down what you guys wanna see next and I'll definitely make a video on it. Other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.